we cannot put Baba into any kind of uh, uh, format. You got to accept him as as the wind and uh, as the presence. Actually, Baba is presence. When a person becomes presence, he's everything. And also, see many people why they can't understand Baba, why they can't connect to Baba. I have always wondered why can't you see this size, the grandeur of Baba? Not the physical grandeur, but the but the consciousness grandeur, grandeur of consciousness. It's so obvious. It's so obvious because. Hundred years ago, he left the body, but hundred years down the line, he's in every every country, every place. So I always used to wonder. So the the answer is, see, we usually operate from two levels of intellect, intelligence. One is the intelligence which helps you to process the acquired knowledge, which are taught to you, school, religion, society, parents, all the these things we process. That is what we consider as truth most of the time. Because somebody told you something, we processed it, we made it our own, and we say that's the truth. Now there's another aspect of this, but it's the logical side. The logical side is that we we have found that truth through our own analysis or our own introspection. Our own introspection, we have found it. Now uh, there is a third level of operating, which is called rhythm bara buddhi, cosmic consciousness. Cosmic consciousness level operating is where all these masters are working. All the masters are working from that level. They shifted from the acquired uh, knowledge processing intellect and the logical mind, logical intellect, to that of rhythm bara buddhi, which is the, which is completely awareness, saturated awareness. So this in intellect is where Baba or any of these masters operate. That means they are in perpetual awareness. In perpetual awareness state. The waking state, the dream state, and the deep sleep state. These three states start diluting itself. And the fourth state, the Turiya state, the fourth state becomes more predominant. Waking state will have its value, like we are communicating and all the communications, connections during the waking state. The dream state, the processing of the received data, stored data, in, in a way there it can provide a, uh, uh, some kind of gratification. Uh, so, in, in the cosmic consciousness state, uh, the operating level itself is only through awareness, just awareness. So, you are being aware all the time. There is no particular uh, doership in there, ownership of action in there. There's no ownership of action. You are just responding, keep on responding. When somebody prays to Baba, etc., it spontaneously response happens. Spontaneous response comes, you get gratification, you get completion. So, Baba, there, there's no need for the physical body then. A person has become a presence. When you operate from the, the cosmic consciousness level, you're always being conscious, you're always being aware, and you're alive. And from there, that point, you have no death. Even one person remembers him, thousands of years later, that presence will remain. So, that is how Krishna is still here. Jesus is there, Ram is there, Buddha, because people remember them. So their presence is kept intact through remembrance, through connection. So as we connect more and more, the relevance also increases for that consciousness, that aspect of consciousness, which is responding. And consciousness is really, really huge. It's beyond the dimensions which we can imagine. It's infinity, unfathomable, unknowable. So the, here, the consciousness which we are connecting to the form of Baba, the name of Sai Baba, that consciousness starts working on its own. And as we connect exactly how like that, the response comes. So this is a continuous process. So the relevance will never decrease. Even if one person uh, connects to Baba or any of the masters in that order, like uh, so many people have had experiences of Hanumanji. So many people have had experience of Lord Krishna. So many people have experiences of Lord Ram. All these masters and the, these, these avatars, let me use the word avatar, are still there. And uh, right next to us, we have more connection to Sai Baba because Sai Baba is relatively our contemporary or just a generation or two before. So we, we have more access or more feeling. And now he is very, very active and he is really delivering. So this is some truth which we must understand. It's not just one small miracle or some, some kind of an imagination, hallucination. It's not that. It's truth. 
truth which is transformative what do you call a truth something which transforms you if you just had an experience and you forgot about it that could be imagination it could be hallucination but if something transforms you something stabilizes you something makes you feel fine while living something makes you more and more accept if something enlightens you that has to be truth it has to be truth so baba is truth this is something which we must really understand Thank you.